This is Iran Mall. It's one of the biggest shopping malls in the world. I'm officially lost. And here you won't see any H&M or Starbucks, but pretty much all local, homegrown Iranian brands. You don't see anything you've ever heard of before. Today I'm exploring this place which has everything you can imagine. But what's most unique is this insanely beautiful library. This mall is quite new. It was only opened in 2018. While much of this is super modern design, there are many sections of the mall that are inspired by more traditional Persian architecture. It's really interesting like to go to a mall in 2022 and not see like an H&M and a McDonald's. What's up guys, it's Upton and today we're going inside Iran Mall. It's my first time here, so let's go check it out. So here is the entrance and I'll be honest, it's quite stunning. It reminds me of a nice hotel. Let's start at the cinema. Here there are posters for film festivals. And in addition to popcorn, they also have a lot of chips. Here are some of the movies that are now showing. Of course, you won't see any Hollywood blockbusters in this theater. So now I'm walking around to try to get a feel for this place. I don't really know where I'm going, but let's just go with it. Okay, this coffee shop is next level in the design. This is a major bookstore here, and they've got all kinds of books you can imagine. You can buy a Reader's Digest from 2015. So now I've found this area that is so different than any mall you can imagine. This is traditional and they have these beautiful rugs that are for sale. This is a handmade Persian rug and they tell me that it took six people seven years to make this. Seven years to make this beautiful rug. You can find Persian rugs, saffron, traditional things that you would find uh, around Iran and throughout Persian history and Persian culture. These rugs are stunning, but I hear there's a famous library that I want to go find. I will say this is very big and it's very easy to get lost, which I guess is to be expected in such a large mall. But I, I also think I'm more likely to get lost because I don't recognize any of the stores. Like I said, there's no Zara or there's no like Burger King or anything. So maybe I have walked past a store here and there before, but I wouldn't remember it necessarily. This library is more than three floors and has more than 45,000 volumes of books. This is so crazy how in the middle of this massive mall, you see this huge, beautiful library and there are statues of different philosophers. But those are just stats. You can't really put the feeling of walking around here into words because honestly, I've never seen anything like this. Okay, so here is one of the food courts and my brain is really confused right now because I'm used to seeing like McDonald's and Subway, but in Iran, they don't have Western brands. They do have international foods, but they're all made by Iranian brands. It's kind of interesting because I've been walking around for like 20 minutes and I have yet to see a brand or a restaurant that I've seen before, that I've heard of before. And you know, I'm not totally surprised by that because Western companies largely are not allowed to operate in this country. But it's really interesting to see like to go to a mall in 2022 and not see like an H&M and a McDonald's. And like many large malls, this one also has a massive grocery store. This is so large and organized and I love how they put the spices out instead of small packaging. I've never been to a store before where I haven't recognized a single brand. Like, look at all the chocolate. You don't see anything you've ever heard of before. And it's really interesting to see that it's just like any other grocery store, except with their own homegrown brand names. This is an interesting brand called Body Spinner. A lot of people wear this. This is an Iranian-only brand. And I think because of what's been happening with sanctions and stuff, they've actually become a lot more successful. So a lot of Iranian brands are actually becoming more successful because they're not competing with any international brands. So now they're made in Iran and they're able to compete uh, with only other Iranian companies. To end this experience, I find this cool outdoor garden area where I have a baklava and a traditional Persian tea. That is delicious baklava. Right, so almost everywhere you go with the tea, they give you one and then you can just put it in here and watch it melt away. Let me know what you think about Iran Mall in the comments and make sure you check out more of my videos inside Iran.